Hello guys, today we will discuss about the telephony manager in the Android. Okay, so in this program, we want the output like that. Means what happened? We want to access the information of your phone that could be related with the IMEI number, subscriber ID, SIM serial number, network country, SIM country ISO, mail number, whether it is in roaming or not, network type, SIM state. So such kind of information you can get for that you have to aware about the telephony manager class and the output will be varied from emulator to emulator or you can say device to device okay because each device having the different kind of state information so now we start discussing so first you have to add permission in the manifest file like read phone state so this permission is used to take the information of your phone next one is you have to create the object of telephony manager you have to use this class with the object because what happened under this class some methods are available by using this method you can take the information from your device so you should use this uh, statement telephony manager object then get system service so the services will be available for you then for taking get imei number of phone you have to take string variable and then by using telephony manager object you have to write tm.get device id so you can take the information of your device id next one is sim serial number so for getting sim serial number you have to use method get sim serial number then for country iso you have to use method get network country iso then for getting the information of sim country iso code you have to use method get sim country iso and for getting voicemail number you have to use method get voicemail number so all these variable these are the string type because they take the value in the form of string this method it return the value in the form of string next one is for getting phone type information first you have to declare integer variable because these variable like phone type cdma gsm and none they return the integer value so phone type is an integer variable then we have three cases for each value phone type cdma if your phone is cdma type then you have to return that value by using string variable because in the string variable string phone type I have written the message so for that you have to take string variable in your program same way you have to use case 2 the variable is different value is different phone type GSM and the third one is none if it is not belonging to CDMA and GSM you have to access this value phone type none next one is sim state again you have to take integer value because all these variable returning integer value so if the sim state is absent you have to write message like sim state is missing for that you have to take string variable str sim state next one is if it is belonging to network lock you have to write message network is locked if it is uh, it is having sim state pin required you have to write message pin is needed then next one is sim state is ready sim state is unknown so this kind of values are there so for returning this value you have to use here string variable for returning the message okay and these variable take the integer value so such kind of information you can return from your device next one is if you want to check whether your mobile is in ro roaming or not you have to use this statement you have to use this method is network roaming finally whatever the variable you use you have to add that information in the text view so in this program we use text view component and for that your statement is text view object dot set text method so here this detail variable taking all the informations from your variable whatever you use so by using this detail variable you can print all the information in the text view so i hope friend you got the idea about this concept and in the next tutorial uh, we will move on android studio and do the actual programming so I hope friend you understood this concept. Thank you.